Roberts? Present. Councilor Swift Kayata? Here. Councilor Watson? Here. Representative Clucci and Representative Elia. Thank you. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reports and correspondence from Council. Chip. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Chairman Carson. Um, Jack Roberts and I attended the National League of Cities meeting last week, their National Cities Conference. It was most informative. There were a number of excellent sessions, and I think we both brought back some good information for people in the town. Uh, we'll be passing that along to various interested parties. That's good. Thank you, Councilor Roberts. Yes, it was a very good conference. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I'd also like to thank the town clerk, uh, Debbie Lane, who also attended. And Debbie acted as my chauffeur back and forth, so I doubly appreciate her effort. Pleasure. That's good. Is there any other correspondence or reports? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, um, town manager's report. Yes, thank you, Madam Chairman. I just wanted to uh, mention two quick things this evening. First, the Public Works Department is in the process of moving to their new facilities over on Cooper Drive. And really appreciate everyone's patience uh, over the last year while that's been going on, and particularly appreciate everyone's patience right at this point in time. Uh, the telephones are, haven't been transferred over the new facility yet, and anyone calling there is getting transferred to cell phones and getting callbacks and whatever, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, they are reachable either through their old number or through the public safety dispatcher in case of an emergency. But it's a, it's a beautiful building. We're looking at scheduling an open house sometime after the first of the year, so everyone from the public uh, can have an opportunity to see the building. Well, we're also signing the contract this week, and related issue, on the new police station and the fire station renovation. Second thing I wanted to mention uh, is that just before uh, Christmas, Mike Walsh is going to be retiring. Mike has worked for the town as I head dispatcher. Uh, and altogether worked for the town for 29 years. And in, in that capacity, he's been the chief communications person uh, for the town for emergency purposes, police and rescue, uh, but also really has been what I would call the information center for the community. Uh, there's probably not too many households that haven't called there at some time looking for everything from what do I do to a skunk in my pool. I, I know someone who did that. Uh, to, uh, Was that you, Mr. I Manager? Did that. I did do that. <laughs> to, you know, you, you name it. Are the fireworks on tonight? Are they off tonight? Is the symphony on? Is it off? Whatever the activities in Cape Elizabeth, that has tended to be the number that folks have called. And Mike has just done a tremendous job uh, uh, for the community, for the citizens, and particularly uh, helping to train other dispatchers, uh, helping to uh, welcome new police officers over the years, and he's also worked with four chiefs of police and uh, more fire chiefs than you can shake a stick at. And not that we'd want to do that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I know the council joins me in, in wishing Michael well. Uh, he's been a tremendous asset, not only to the town and the citizens, but he's also was very active many years in the capabilities of the Police Benevolent Association. And in that capacity, uh, uh, he was the treasurer for many years and helped a lot of uh, needs within the community. Some of you might have seen on tonight's news, uh, there was a story mainly involving the South Portland Police Department about giving gifts to uh, toys, but it was mentioned on the news that the Cape Elizabeth Police Benevolent Association also participated. And a lot of that tradition of giving, I think, comes from Mike and his work. So I knew you joined me in wishing him well. And he's, uh, I know he'll have a great retirement. So. We absolutely do join you in all of that, but we, we have, next time he's gonna come, so we can we'll figure out yeah we have a whereas presentation for him. okay that's great thank you uh, is that is there anything else no that's no fine. Thank all you. right uh is there any items on the agenda for citizens dis not on the agenda for citizens discussion <laughs> hearing them we'll move on to the approval of the minutes of the special meeting of november 27th madam chairman i move that the uh, minutes of the meeting of uh, november 27th be uh, Approved as read. Has uh, everybody had a chance? This is, I think you got your packets in time. It's a fairly lengthy um, right. public document. Second. Okay. Been moved and seconded. Any more discussion? 
All those in favor? Opposed? None? Thank you. Item number 57, action upon recommended board and commission appointments. We have that in our packet. We have the chairman of the appointments committee who can make this report. Councilor Roberts. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. The, uh, as, as you're aware, early on, the, uh, we did not have enough applicants to fill the boards and commissions. We, in fact, we only had three people that had signed up for 15 openings. And we put a plea out, put some ads in the paper, and we were very fortunate in getting uh, 25 people to submit their names to, for consideration. The appointments committee met on three evenings, and we believe we have an excellent slate of candidates for these positions who will do a, a super job. Uh, and the people that we were unable to select uh, also would have been probably equally as good. We had very good candidates to choose from this year. If I might, I would read down through uh, our list uh, for the council and for the people listening, and then we can entertain maybe a motion to accept them. On the Arts Commission, uh, Edward Madison will serve a term for, to expiring in 2004. Ashley Werner Collins has been reappointed and will also serve to 2004. The Board of Assessment Review, uh, David Griffin, has been reappointed till uh, 2004. Community Services has two openings, and we did do interviews for those as well, but they are school board appointments, and they will be acting on those tomorrow night, so I won't bother to list those at this time. For the Conservation Commission, we have Kevin Cameron, 2004, David Sterling, 2004, and Michael Pulsifer, for, till 2002, he will be filling an unexpired term of Robert Harrison. Family Fun Day, Frank Butterworth is being reappointed till 2004. Steve Culver, 2004. Gene Weissman, reappointed to 2004. Ted Smith, to 2004. And Debbie Butterworth being reappointed to 2004. The Fort Williams Advisory Committee, uh, com committee Steve Parkhurst, till 2004. And Glenn Israel is being reappointed to 2004. The Personal, Personnel Appeals Board, Ann Chapman being reappointed to 2004. The Planning Board, uh, Andy Charles being appointed to 2004, David Griffin reappointed to 2004, and David Sherman being appointed to 2004. The Recycling Committee, Jeff Van Fleet to 2004. The Riverside Cemetery Trustees, we have applications, but we have not interviewed yet, and they will be brought forward in January. The Thomas Memorial Library trustees, Robert Steyer, or Steer, uh, till 2004, and Beth Richardson to 2004. The Zoning Board of Appeals, Michael Tranfeglia, until 2004. And that is the slate of, uh, that is being recommended by the Appointments Committee. Excellent. As usual, we have wonderful volunteers in this town, which um, and we look forward to having these new people serve on our boards. Is there any, um, may I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. It's been, so, it's been moved to accept the slate as presented by the Appointments Committee. Any more discussion? Has it been seconded? Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? None. Thank you. Um, this is you, David. Uh, action to consider approval of a liquor license renewal and special amusement permit for Sue, Susan Leg events in Fort, Field, Fort Fairfield Yacht Club at the Inn by the Sea. Deborah. Thank you very Town much. Clerk. This is a renewal application um, for Susan Lake events in Fort Fairfield Yacht Club at Inn by the Sea. They have submitted the application that is complete. The uh, both public safety chiefs and the co enforcement officer do not have any concerns about the uh, renewal of this application, so we, we would recommend that you authorize it. Thank you. Motion. Can you explain oh. again what Fort Fairfield? The Fort Fairfield Yacht Club is. And in the packet, it has the information yes. on the know. holders. I believe Mr. Yeah. Larry Mahaney. Uh, I mean, is that corporate. something? In it's a corporation. It's no. a corporation. Corporation. Yeah. So moved. Second. It's been moved and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Approved. Thank you. Act Item number 59, action to reappoint Deborah Lane as Register of Elections. Madam Chairman, I would like
like to move that Deborah Lane be uh, reappointed as registrar of elections. Second. Do you accept that role? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll get back to you. But we have a lot of experience in recounts now. I hope yeah. you get all that information. We're all set. You may be called upon to. <laughs> That'd be fun. At the department head meeting, they suggested we bring Teresa Lepore up from Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Opposed? None. Thank you. Tidiest congratulations. <laughs> Poor condolence. Yeah. Item number 60, action to accept gifts received from November 1999 through November 2000. <clears throat> Debbie. Thank you. Town it's clerk. Our pleasure this time each year to bring forth um, donations, gifts that have been made to the town from the various departments. Uh, and again, it's in your packet. It ranges from fields for kids, benches at the Fort, Fort Williams Park Trust, the fire department, police department, wet team, uh, dugouts, Thomas Memorial Library, and Portland Headlight, mm -hmm. and we would recommend that the council uh, approve and accept these, dona these donations. So moved. so moved. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, is, Se it hasn't, was it? Yeah. Yes. Is there any more discussion? I just think that we should comment maybe to members of the public that I, I, I read over this document today, looking for my own name, of course, as I was looking through it, which I was unable to find, <laughs> for whatever the reasons were, on a variety of things. And I don't really know the time it took for the fire department to raise their money for the imaging. Was it like four weeks? It was three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, three weeks, which is an incredible thing. This is a small community. The response of people and the donations came from $5 to thousands of dollars, showing that everybody sees these things and does pay attention to what goes on in the town. And then the uh, Fort Williams, um, the idea that came up with two or three years ago to raise funds for, the Fort, Wi for Fort Williams through the purchasing of uh, benches and other items of the fort has had a fabulous response from people. And, and all these other wonderful gifts that come to our children's programs, to Little League, to, to soccer, to boosters of all sorts, to music groups. I think it's a tribute to our community that there are so many people who are interested in so many different things who participate by volunteering and also by giving their financial support. So, that being said, uh, all those in favor? Thank you, opposed, none. That motion also, of course, carries. You, just, if I might, you, yes. did, you did indicate that your contribution would appear on the list for the year beginning December 1. You, you just missed the cutoff. Oh, I did. <laughs> I already paid my bills in November. <laughs> I don't know why it's not there. Mm. I want to use have that fire imaging thing at my house when it's time. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, okay, item number 61, action to accept Apple Tree Lane and the portion of the Cross Hill Road in phases one and two of the Cross Hill subdivision. I think you saw that mine is now out of order. Are you going to do this? Yes, this is this a is, fairly um, routine acceptance. It's been built in accordance with the specifications, in accordance with the subdivision standards, or as there are usually at this time of year, they'll, they'll need to do some minor work in the spring to make sure the grass is growing. We continue to retain some funds for that, but uh, they are ready for acceptance, and the owner of Cross Hill Limited Liability Corporation looks forward to us plowing it uh, at, at the next one. I went out there today, and it looked pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's lost pretty, in that very attractive. I know. It's going, to be, it's going to be a nice neighborhood for people. Move the acceptance. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? <laughs> Thank you. Um, this was a very short agenda. We've had a couple of long agendas in the last couple of months. This is a, a, some of this is sort of like housekeeping. We appreciate those who have been watching. And uh, we are going to move on to a workshop discussion on several items. That does, does our student representative do drive? Yeah. Good thing, because somebody have to come back and get you already. <laughs> um, so well, I will, I, yes. I want to move that we go into an executive session to discuss a personnel matter and uh, negotiation for a possible lease of a uh, portion of property to be owned by the town of Cape Elizabeth. Second. No, it's been moved and seconded. We are going to have an uh, executive uh, discussion. We are not going to, I don't think we're going to, 
There's no, be no There'll be no decisions made, no vote made on anything. No. Um, we will not. Mm? Just, if I might, on mm -hmm. one item. One, what was the, the wording that uh, you read of the uh, Councilor Berry did? Uh, on the no. Yeah, it was to, nego to discuss negotiations for possible lease of a portion of property to be owned by the town of Cape Elizabeth. Uh, that, you know, rather It'll strange be. wording, and it clearly identifies the property. Uh, but uh, uh, Penny Carson, the council chairman, and I had uh, breakfast the other day with George Gagnon, the, honor, the owner of Pond Cove Millwork, who uh, is very interested in continuing to stay there for a period of time and really looks forward to a, a good relationship with the council. And the, the purpose of the executive session is that you usually don't discuss lease negotiations publicly in terms of the dollar amounts that we're discussing. But the plan would be to discuss that, to, to try to come to an agreement with George based on what it said in the executive session, and then to have it on the council agenda at the January meeting so that uh, his use of the building can continue uh, uh, after the town takes ownership, uh, which is currently planned for uh, January 31st. But we had a good breakfast. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, that, I was worried someone might read that and think that there was something up other than what I've just right. described. So. So we have now a motion on the floor to go into executive session, and it was seconded. seconded. Yeah. We vote. No. All those in favor? Opposed, none. Thank you very much. Again, I reiterate, we will not be making any decisions. This is just an opportunity for us to have a discussion. As the manager explained, we will not be coming back in session except to adjourn. So uh, this concludes the December 11th regular meeting of the Cape Elizabeth Town Council. Thank you very much.